Today is all about fruit. We're making three spectacular summer fruit recipes. Oh, you serve these to your guests and they are going to flip. <laughs> That's right. I flipped when I, I first know, I that. couldn't believe you flipped. It was so, these things just scream summertime. Oh, so I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. My fruit loving lunars. <laughs> That's right, I love fruits. <laughs> so do I, so do I. Okay, so I'm so excited about this, you guys. This is, this is a special one. Okay, so uh, we're gonna start off with recipe number one. Summer fruit salad. Woo this is the ultimate. There is so much fruit in this fruit salad. I can't tell you. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> okay, so let's make summer fruit salad. I mean, we've got every fruit on the planet I, here. So <laughs> we do. But before we do this, why don't you make us a spectacular oh, dressing? This dressing, it's just that sweet and cit citrusy and so root. good. So I've got a uh, third a cup of just plain old honey oil. Good old honey. Honey oil. Why did I say honey well, oil? That would be <laughs> unique. Just honey. Just honey. And I'm going to throw in the zest from a lime and a zest from a lemon. So just get yourself a little zester and zest or do it on so the good. side of a box grater. Oh, it's so good. And hold on to those lemons. And then I'm going to do the um, the juice from a whole lemon. The one lime. This is the lime. Yes. That is a lime. The green yes. ones are lime. Yes. Yeah, so I use the zest. Now I'm going to use the juice. Oh, this is so good. So and what's good. great about this as he's doing that is the citrus um, is going to complete. It's going to coat all of this. this oh, that's a tough one. I know that's a tough. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to coat all of this the fruit and it, it protects it. It really keeps it from oxidizing and turning brown. And so you can you can do this somewhat in advance. Um, right. How are you doing there? I'm doing okay. All right, okay, I got the good. lemon and I got the lime and now I'm going to do the big old orange. Then the juice of one orange. Oh, yes, this is this so, is so this is talk about fruit forward. I love this juicer actually. This is the best juicer ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so while you're doing that, I'm going to start putting yes, together this. Do you, it. you got to make sure you got a nice big bowl because like I said, we got a lot of fruit going on here. And if, as always, if there's anything you don't like, leave it out, it. substitute, just do whatever you want. But the more, the better in this one, okay? Yes, yes. So we got a cup of fresh strawberries. You gotta do strawberries that we hold. We just, you know, took the little green stems off and then sliced them nicely. This is, these are two kiwis. Now, Wesley, tell them you did this. You've become quite the good yes, kiwi. Yes, throw those kiwi in there. So you just take the, we took the whole kiwi, sliced off all of the skin, and then I cut the bottom off cut the top off. I think I might have cut the top off and bottom off first and then the sides. And then I just cut them into slices and then I cut those slices in half. And there you go. Easy peasy. And Easy those, peasy. And it's so pretty. Beautiful and delicious. And then we've got two oranges that we peeled and just, Wesley, cut those into bite-sized pieces. Real quick, nice. I'm just going to whisk this together, get it all yeah. mixed up. There you go. Yes. Oh, that's going to be so good. Okay, so now we've got a cup of raspberries. Now, <laughs> now if you're doing this in the summertime, which is the the time to do it. All of this should be available, but if not, just you know, go with what you've got. Uh, this is a cup of blueberries. Is it? Is this <laughs> so festive? This is a cup of delicious blackberries. I love it. Um, now we're gonna do a cup <laughs> of chopped, uh, just good pineapple. <laughs> I mean, it's a fruit salad, so you gotta have lots of fruit. <laughs> and then now this is one of our favorite things in the world. This is one mango that Wesley cut up. Tell him how you did. Oh the yeah, mango. so the mango's a little can be a little tough. Um, yeah. So you, I used a, um, a vegetable peeler, so I peeled away all the skin. Now you gotta hold on because that mango gets very slippery. Uh, and yeah, then be I just, careful. I cut away, I cut the sides off, not too close to the center because the center is where it's really, really tough. 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 Uh, yeah. And then I just slice those sli those sides up into bite-sized pieces. Bite-sized pieces. Bite-sized pieces. And then we've got a cup of seedless grapes. And I love to use a combination of red and green. And if, you know, like these were kind of small, which I love. They're just little bite-sized. You don't even have to cut these in half. Love Look it. at that. So um, now. I wanted to say what, something real quick about this dressing. If you want to do an adult version, yes. you can do like a tablespoon or more if you want, of uh, Cointreau. Cointreau. So good. Orange liqueur, and yes. it, again, it's adult version. Am I ready? Are you ready for it? I am ready, bring All it right, on. Let's just do this. Oh, isn't that beautiful? There we go. Mm -hmm. That is so nice. Yeah. That is absolutely glorious. Oh, the flavor, and it, it just, it's, it, what the, the, the great thing about this summer, oops. oh, Chris, watch out, don't get it on your shirt. I know, he's so, so worried about that. <laughs> I'm so, I'm like, don't get anything on your shirt yeah. at the beginning. Yeah. And of course he gets it all over. Well, shirt. that's because we're cooking. Yeah. So anyway. But anyway, the salad is just, I mean, it's, talk about 
fruit forward because <laughs> quint- the dressing is fruity. It's the- just quintessential yeah. um, summertime. <laughs> now, what the the really the what puts this thing over the top? I think this is a half a cup of sweetened coconut, and we're gonna let this just sit here and chill. Like I said, you can do this in advance. You can do this because we've got that dressing on it several hours in advance. It's so great to bring to barbecues and picnics. Cover it tightly. I'd keep it in the fridge. It's not gonna oxidize. The only thing that could start to happen if you've seen vegetables that are together like this, the strawberries, oh, can the strawberries could start to kind of bleed a little bit into say the mango and you get a little cross coloring going on. But um, I like to do it fr- served pretty much after I mixed it together. And now but, you're gonna toast those? I'm gonna toast these. So I'm gonna put these in our little toaster oven and it's just gonna go till they get nice and brown and kind of browned on top. And then we top, well, we're gonna do little individual servings, but it's a fruit salad I to end all wait. fruit salads. <laughs> okay, now look at that. that is, Isn't this beautiful? It smells so good. I love the smell of toasted coconut. I know, I know. It's so, so good. You have to keep an eye on those, kind of like pine nuts. They'll, <laughs> they'll, they'll go like that, they'll burn. Um, but so I just, you know, keep, like I said, keep an eye on it. After a few minutes, open it up, open up your toaster oven, give them a scooch around with a spatula. Just as soon as they start to turn brown like this, get them out of there because they'll Take they them turn out. fast, okay? All right, and that's it. We've got this beautiful salad here ready look to go. Look at that scorch. Come on over. So now you can serve this. Um, individually or what I also love to do is just really for a gorgeous gorgeous presentation if you're bringing this to a barbecue or something if you have a trifle put it in <clears throat> excuse me put that into a trifle yeah you can even top the the part uh, the, the trifle the, with the with the coconut on top yes. of that or you can do that and that what's fun is then people can serve themselves yes or but I like it when my husband serves I know me. it I know you do <laughs> oh so maybe do. you could get it all in there okay well I'll try um, <laughs> and it's just so festive this is a pretty big vessel so yes that's even better that dressing make sure some of that dressing is down at the bottom you will always want to make sure you give it a good stirring oh y'all so beautiful that. you know what I need to have right on top is the strawberry. The strawberry. The strawberry. Yay, okay. Look at that, you guys. No, I'm so excited. This is one of my favorite things. Yeah. It's just so it's just summer. You can okay. just sprinkle with your fingers if you want to. Really? Okay, well thanks. That's even better though. Yeah. Yeah, I give, I give you a little just more. A little more. Yeah. It's, it's the true t- uh, topper twister. That is oh, I look at how gorgeous. That is. I know. That's like summer in one of those. I like that glass. I do too. Don't we usually make like Irish whiskeys in these glasses? <laughs> well, <laughs> Irish that's coffee. You finish your fruit. An Irish coffee. You finish your fruit, then you make an Irish <laughs> you coffee. You rinse it out and make an Irish coffee. That's right. Now, I mean, you talk about a celebration. <laughs> okay. Yay. Here, I want to make sure people can see you okay. from the front there. Okay, let's okay. do it. Oh, I'm wow. Oh, I love the key. I love everything I need about to just this. just get in there. I need to get in there with a little bit of this, a little bit of that. <gasps> Oh, and you, we let this sit just long enough to get all these. Oh, really Chris, I'm it. making a mess. Well, mm, you yell at me. Hold on. Okay. okay. <laughs> I need a spoon. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. You guys. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Man. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. That is so good. Wow. You guys. All right, all right, all right. This is 10,000% loot approved. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Let's hear it for fruit. You- <laughs> Y'all, you need to make this. Make it, make it, make it. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go on. Let's go to recipe number two. Wild berry and this parfait. I swear, this is one of my favorite fruit for desserts of all time. <laughs> you know, I just love the mascarpone. Okay, <laughs> so let's make wild berry and mascarpone parfait. Let's do let's it. Let's do it. All right, first of all, we're gonna need, we got some veg, we of course have some fruit here, and we are going to do a little dressing here. So in here, I've already taken the liberty of adding two tablespoons of honey. That's a common thread, you know, honey, and we've got some orange juice here. So uh, this is so flavorful and so delicious, and this is the juice from two orange Oranges. Calm down. What do you Get mean? Get it down in there. It's the, oh, I thought you were spraying it everywhere. No. Oh, well, there it goes. It kind of happens. <laughs> <laughs> I need a slicker. Uh, yeah. Well. <laughs> it, uh, so anyway, so this is going to be. This is about four <laughs> tablespoons of orange juice from fresh orange. Please, if you could use fresh, that's best. But if not, use four tablespoons of good quality yes. orange juice. And then here I have got a quarter cup of good old sugar, and this combination is going to 
be perfect on these yes. fabulous Fabulous, fabulous, I fabulous, love this. Fabulous. We've made this so many times, and we've tried out, I don't know how many different jars <laughs> or uh, vessels to put it in. Yeah. <laughs> it's great, because you can make it ahead of time and then bring it out, you know, dessert time, and everyone's like, oh my God, what are you doing? <laughs> so I've got a cup of uh, blueberries, delicious. I've got a cup of raspberries. You can use whatever fruit you like, but these are our Those favorite. raspberries have been mangled a little bit. Well, <laughs> they're, they're tender. <laughs> they are. That's why we're going we're gonna to get gonna them kind get of them. relaxed. <laughs> and then I've got four cups of, of um, what, what are, are those? Those are strawberries. Strawberry. I got thrown because I couldn't find my little spatula. And now I'm just going to mix this all up and get that uh, dressing all awesome. over this fruit. Now I'm going to make the mascarpone uh, filling or whatever, the mascarpone stuff. Right. It's what, it's what <laughs> makes the parfait. Yes, it does. So I've got eight ounces of mascarpone and I've let it get to room temperature so it's nice and soft. Yeah, let, let, mascarpone can be found in the sort of the specialty cheese section of most supermarkets. Yes. We love it because it's what we use to make tiramisu. Oh. If you can't find mascarpone you, could, mascarpone, you could use a room temperature uh, cream cheese. Cream cheese. Yes. Okay, so I've got, and then I've got Greek yogurt. This is vanilla flavor. I just love it so much. Uh, that's eight ounces yes. of both of those. Did yes. you say that? And you know, I Eight ounces, of yes, of this and then of that. But you know, sometimes people use like the non sweetened version. I like the sweet version of the, uh, uh, <laughs> well, or the yeah. no sugar or whatever it the is. The plain. And non I'm going to add some more the sugar. Non -fat. Yeah. The non fat. I'm going to add sugar. I've got two tablespoons of sugar here. Fabulous. Yes. And then I'm just going to whisk my troubles away. So as, so, as you know, a parfait is layers and layers. Isn't that from Shrek? Didn't Donkey <laughs> That's try an to onion. get him? He will, I know, Donkey was trying to say, <laughs> you're, you're like an onion. <laughs> a parfait. <laughs> okay, so right. another layer, of, we really digress here. Another Ooh, fantastic Wait, look layer. at that, first of all. There we go. That is That's good. heavenly. Yeah. Another fantastic layer of this parfait is our homemade granola. Homemade granola, this makes way more than you need, but trust me, it'll be gone in a day. Yeah. So let me tell you how, how I did this. I just got a, get a nice large baking sheet. You're gonna preheat your oven to 300 degrees. And um, then you're gonna, I, what, you wanna liberally grease it. So I just get, I don't know, probably like a quarter cup of vegetable oil and then get some paper towels and just spread that all over the, the baking sheet. Then I put one and a half cups of rolled oats on it. And then, then I add a cup of chopped Walnuts. You could also use. Oh no, I did pecans. You pecans, could use. You yeah. could use walnuts, and then I did a half a cup of shredded sweetened coconut, and then you just kind of use your hands and your spatula to, to get that all kind of combined together. Then we're going to move over to a little bowl. It's really easy, and we're going to add a third a cup of brown sugar. It's, you can use dark or light. I like dark, um, and then we're going to do a third a cup of maple syrup, mm. delicious. A third a cup of vegetable oil, and then a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. You whisk all that together until it's fully combined and most of that sugar is dissolved. Then you pour that over your oat <laughs> mixture. It's crazy. And then you just use your hands and that spatula to get it really, really coated. Make sure you get it really well distributed and fully coated. Then it's gonna go in the oven, like I said, 300 degrees for about anywhere from 35 to 40 minutes. And every 10 minutes, you're gonna get your two spatulas and you're just gonna scooch them around and, and make sure that they're you know, well distributed throughout the pan. And you're going to bake them until they're nice and crisp. And like I said, that takes about 35 minutes. Take them out of the oven and then just let them cool in the pan until they're completely cool. And that they cool pretty quickly. Yeah. And this, I can't tell you. It's addictive. It, we, we put it on ice cream, too. Ice cream mm. and yogurt and, I mean, and parfaits. Mm. Okay, we're going to let this hang out in the refrigerator for anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour. That sugar is going to start to do its work on these uh, this fruit and start to bring out those juices and it's going to make kind of like syrup and, oh, uh, and then we assemble it. We're going to make a parfait! Parfait! <laughs> okay, so you see the juices that have just come? It's this, so juicy. It's very juicy. Those are wild I berries. Know, they are wild. Settle down. <laughs> okay, so now we are ready to build this. So if you, you, we do these in these fun little- Aren't these cute? But you can do in a, any kind of, just like a glass, a parfait glass. Any, <laughs> yes. And this really, it makes a good amount. I would say you could easily make uh, eight parfait, depending on how big your- Come on, parfait, come on in. Parfait vessels are. I'm gonna hold these steady. All right, okay. there we go. All Maybe right. just a little more in that one. Just a little dash more. There we go, perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna quickly do a little on mine. Yours. These, now, and, and the other awesome thing about this is that, I don't know, maybe this makes four. It depends on how much you, you do. That's um, good. 
And you can do, the, what I love about these is like I said before, you can do these in advance and then um, the, keep them in the fridge. All right, Wesley's doing the- Yes, I gotta, I'm trying to be careful. I usually use a piping bag for this, but yeah, yeah. I thought I'd just be a little play, be a little on the wild side today. Yeah, they, you know, they're wild berries, so why not be on the wild so side? So I'm just gonna push it down in there and then I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna smoosh it all around. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. Oh yes, do this one over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hold now on. while you're, all right. That's all right, I got, I'm just being a little messy on That's this That's okay, one. The, the, well, everyone understands. I know, but I'd like to make it look pretty. Have this before Oops. tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's, Sorry, that one's yours. Okay. All right, there you go. All right. I'll take one for the team. Okay, now we love a good amount of uh, this granola. It's yes. just so good. Isn't Come that, on, pile that in there. Isn't that beautiful already? That This is my favorite part. I know, I know. It really does just make this whole parfait come to life in a way that is <laughs> okay, really that's great. Enough. I know, I know. Okay, all right. We're, Hold on now, I got a little, a little oh yeah, more yeah. of this. He likes to do the kind of then in reverse order, however you want to do it. Yes, so we're going to do one more little dollop of each in here. Oh, yay. All right, Chris. Go for it. Yay. Beautiful. That is so gorgeous. You know, even the even when it's like a mess, it looks gorgeous. But that's kind of the it's a parfait. It's yes. not supposed to be, you know. A little more on top. Now, let me give you just a little more. Oh, thank you. Okay. Now I'm just gonna do a little top, a topper twister of the mescarpone. <laughs> we dollop. serve this. This is great, and it's so you know, for us Americans, you know, we love our red, white, and blue. And this is great for serving at 4th of July. It's so fantastic. <laughs> Memorial Day. Memorial Day. Yeah. Hold on, I need a little extra on mine. It's now beautiful. that, and now, yep, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, and then, and then we're gonna do just one more little topping of the granola, because why not? I'm I'm not kidding you, people, when we serve wait, this. Wait, wait, oh, not yeah. done yet, not done yet. <laughs> it's a work of art. Then you just do a little bit of this on top. There you go. Oh, I love it. There you go. And then you could just cover it with um, some plastic and put them in the fridge. And then when just when everyone thinks you're done, <gasps> you pull this masterpiece out. Yay! Oh, that I, looks. Divine. This is one of my favorites. I just I. All right. I say I gotta that go. I gotta go down deep. Yeah, go down. Going down deep. You gotta get every element of this beautiful oh, wow. parfait. Okay. Wow, Chris. Ready? Yeah. Did you get a good yeah. representation? <laughs> Mm. <laughs> that is dessert. Mm. That's summertime dessert. I mean, imagine this after you, all the kids have been swimming, mm. you had some burgers on the grill. Oh. And one more bite. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> How do you feel about it? <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> I put a hole in my bun in my mouth. <laughs> mm, that is 10,000% Luna Brown! Yes! I thought so. Oh, so, so good. good. Mm. You guys, you gotta make parfait. Make it. Have a parfait parte. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's time to move on to recipe number three. We're doing classic fruit tart. Oh, yes, I love this dessert so much. <laughs> so let's do it. Let's make a classic fruit tart. Let's oh do it. Oh my gosh, okay, so I'm, I'm gonna get started here. Well, so there are several components to this. Is This is spectacular. One of them is a beautiful vanilla custard. So I need so to do that. I have got a cup and a half of just good old whole milk, and I'm gonna heat this over kind of medium heat. We don't wanna get it scalding, but I wanna heat it enough till it starts to bubble, okay? And the second component, or one of the other one components moment. is this crust. Look at how gorgeous it is. But he's gonna talk about that in just a second, but let me get started on these eggs while he talks about this crust. That's gonna help make the custard. I've got it. four egg yolks, I've got a third a cup of sugar, <laughs> and then I have three tablespoons of cornstarch. It's gonna make it nice and thick. Mm -hmm. Oh, Chris, here, let me see if I can oh, get that out there. You got it? Yeah. Yes, there we go, hold on. You probably had a sticky bowl. There we go. <laughs> wow, you really got that. And then I got a quarter teaspoon of salt. Salt. There we go, salt. And now I'm just gonna whisk this until it gets a nice pale yellow, until that 
Sugar is nice incorporated. Everything yeah, yeah, is incorporated. Do it, it'll it'll kind of get almost like a pale yes. yellow. Okay, so let's talk about this amazing crust. This is uh, what we call a sweet tart crust. It's got a little more sweetness than just a normal pie crust. I love it so much. So the way we brought it together, you, you can do this well in advance. You can even do it like the day before. Um, what, what I did was, I first of all, I got a small bowl, medium-sized bowl, and I added one egg yolk. And then to that, I added two tablespoons. Don't mind me. No, that's okay. <laughs> two tablespoons of really cold. You want to keep everything cold. Ice cold water. Two tablespoons. And then a teaspoon of just good old quality vanilla extract. And I got a whisk, and I just whisked that together till it was fully incorporated. Okay, now we're going to move over to our stand mixer. You could do this in a bowl with a whisk. That's no problem. The stand mixer, if you've got that, it makes it so easy. To that, I added a, now make sure I get this right, a cup and a quarter of all-purpose flour, and then I added a third a cup of sugar, and then I added a quarter teaspoon of salt. You need to whack that. Oh, it's already changing. Yeah, look at that's that. Good. That's looking good. So then um, I just turn, I had my paddle attachment on the mixer, and I turned that on. Just medium. You, what you're all you're really wanting to do is incorporate that. Now my milk is already bubbling. So yeah, I'm gonna turn calm this down. that milk down. Calm down, milk. Um, so now what we're going to do is I've got some butter that I've been keeping in the freezer. You want, again, I said really cold. So this is going to be a stick of butter that before I put it in the freezer, I cut it up into little small cubes, <laughs> then stuck it in the freezer for about 15 minutes. You want it really, have I said you want it really cold? You yes, want it really, cold. really cold. So then we're going to dump that cold butter into the flour and I'm going to have it on medium and you're just going to let that butter get fully incorporated and it's going to break up and it should begin to resemble the size of like, peas. Um, just, you know, it's not going to be completely disintegrated. Um, it's, it should still have some pieces to it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on medium, medium high. Be kind of careful if you put it too high that your flour will poof and goes flying all over the place. <laughs> um, but then we're going to incorporate that egg yolk mixture into that. And then it's going to start, you just keep mixing until it gets nice and um, incorporated. It's going to be crumbly. If it feels like it's just way, way too crumbly, then I usually add just a couple little drops of water. Just Don't a little overdo bit. it. I would do a teaspoon maybe. Don't exceed a t tablespoon. It's going to feel like you want to add more, but that, that flour really absorbs it and you don't want it too wet. Um, that'll have some issue. That'll cause your crust to have some issues. Then what you're going to do is you're just going to lift that uh, mixer up. You're going to pull that dough out of there and then just start to form it. Don't overdo it too much. You want that, that butter to stay nice and cold and form it into kind of a, uh, no, into a disc. Do a disc. And then we're, we put some flour on our surface. Make sure you get enough flour because if you did get a little too much moisture in there, it's going to want to stick to your counter. So then get a, a rolling pin or a wine bottle or something that'll help you start to roll out that dough. <laughs> a wine bottle. A wine bottle works. Hey, I've used it before. <laughs> and uh, you're going to want to roll it out and kind of turn it as you go. You know, if it's not perfectly circled, no big deal. Uh, just, just do your like best. Just like 12 inches. About any, anywhere to 10 to 12 inches. Um, because what we're going to do is we're going to then fold that dough over in half and then just transfer transfer it over to a tart pan. And you can do anywhere like a nine, nine to a inch, nine and a half got, yeah. um, uh, tart pan. Yeah. Preferably, if you can get the one with the removable bottom, that's even better. That's the yeah. best. And yeah. then you just, then you unfold it and then press that dough into the tart pan until it's nice and snug in there. Get all that and excess get dough the ex off. And then you're gonna probably have some excess dough on the top. You either use scissors, scissors your scissors or your fingers <laughs> and just uh, kind of peel that away from the, the tart pan. and. Um, Save that, you're gonna have some extra dough that you can make a little pie or something with. And then you're gonna to wanna to put that in the fridge to get nice and firmed up, okay, for about 30 minutes. After it's been in there for about 15 minutes, you're gonna to wanna to preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Then when the 30 minutes is up, you're gonna get that shell, that, that tart pan out of there, and we are we need to what's called blind bake it. So we're gonna get a piece of parchment paper. Are you with me still? I think I, 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 I okay. fall asleep. Okay, I know you yeah. in, in the egg yolks, that would be bad. And so then we're just gonna put some parchment paper in there, and then if you've got some pie weights, fill that. Great, that's great. If not, use like pennies. We used to use we've pennies. used pennies before, but but dried beans work, rice works, anything just to kind of weight that down. Um, and then we're gonna put that into the oven 
in the middle of the oven for, I do let it go for 20, 20 minutes, minutes. And it smells so good. And yeah. then after 20 minutes, just be careful when you've got that removable bottom. If you grab pick it, it up, the sides. you'll grab it from the sides. If you grab it from the bottom, it's gonna, that pull is gonna come right yes. up and that's not good. Um, so by the sides with your, you know, with your gloves on, your mitts on, then you're gonna bring that and you're going to carefully lift that parchment paper up. Do your Take best. Take out those beads. Take out the weights. And, um, and then we're gonna put it back in the oven for another, say, eight to 10 minutes until it just gets nice and toasty and kind of brown on yeah. the edges. Until you get this. Incredible. And then you put it on, you're going to put it on a baking rack and you want to let it cool completely. Look at that. Look at that. That is so good. Okay. So now. <laughs> and I have, I have. That is beautiful. That's a pale yellow. That is pale. <laughs> pale I, yellow. I mean, I've seen pale before. So you're going to, what are we going to do now? We're going to, we're going to do what we call temper your eggs. Yes. If I put super hot, it, uh, uh, something liquid into that, you're going to have scrambled eggs. And we do not want scrambled eggs. So I'm going to get this back up to a night. It doesn't take long to get this uh, kind of bubbly. So yes. we're, what we're going to do is we're going to pour about half, pour half of that in half here. Half of it in there while you whisking away. This is science, y'all. No, is science. it's good. It's good. <laughs> You've got it. Okay. All right. Hey, look at doing? all this beautiful fruit oh, here. Yes, yes, yes. Is okay. it good? Yeah, it's right. good. We're right. Okay, so now we're going to just I'm I'm gonna gonna carefully do this without making yep. too much of a Come mess. Come on in. It. And we're going to do about half of it. And whisk completely yes, as yes, you go. Yes, 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 yes. There you go. Keep whisking until it's I'm whisking. See, and it's, it's not cur I mean, it's not scrambling, which is good. We don't want scrambled eggs. Look oh, this that. makes the best. That looks really the good. Best, uh, custard. I love this. This all tart right. is Look so at that. That's fantastic. Okay. Now, now what? Now you. Now you're gonna. Put, do I hand you the whisk? Hand now? it over. I've got my own whisk over here. Oh, you here. do? Okay. Yeah. All We've right. got mini whisks so here. So this is ready to go back yep, in Yep. Bring it on in. And the I'm, whole thing, right? The whole kit and caboodle. Okay. Yay! This is so exciting. And that, like you said, that cornstarch will start to do its work and thicken it up, and it's gonna wow. make just make this beautiful, beautiful custard. Look at that. Gorgeous. I'm going slow. That's okay. Slow and steady wins the race. It really does. Okay. <laughs> so now. That's great. Okay. So now I'm just going to keep, I've got this on medium heat. Don't, don't, again, it could still curdle, so don't do it too high. And I'm just going to keep, keep, it's a good little workout. Do this for about <laughs> six minutes until it's thickened up and made this beautiful, beautiful custard. Okay. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? So now, it, 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 it depends on how hot you had your pan, um, it, how quickly it's it comes together. It's still on. Do you want to turn that off? Uh, yeah, I'm going to turn this off okay. now. So just really, really watch it. If you have it a little too hot, um, it can start to seize up on you a little bit. And if that happens, yeah, go ahead. Now we got a teaspoon of just good old vanilla extract. If that happens, take If that happens, immediately take it off the heat. Take it off the heat. Get off the heat. Stop cooking. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> that's right. And then just keep, keep whisking and you'll be okay. Um, it'll it'll work just beautifully. Okay, so now that is a nice te texture, but now we need to let it chill. Yeah, we all could use a little time to chill. All right, you got it. Yeah. All right, you got it. Go. All right, so we're gonna transfer that into. Ooh, look a bowl. at that! It's that looks sweet. lovely, Chris. It, I know. And then it gets even better when it when it cools. <sighs> oh, it smells amazing. I, I love. This is one of my favorite parts of this. Wow. This is one of my favorite fruit dishes of all time. Oh. It's beautiful, <laughs> delicious, and. Uh, Spectacular. Hold on, I gotta get it all in there. Uh, he's very meticulous okay, there with we his go. custard. Hold on. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, Chris, I'm dying already. <laughs> I'm dying. Y'all, this dessert is so good, especially with all that wonderful fruit. Okay. With the nice glaze on it. All right. You got it. Oops. All right, there you go. All right, now I'm gonna th cover it up. No, what, so what we do is just get it and put it in a bowl like this, and then if you, no, you just press it against the, the custard. Oh, get it down in there. That's yeah, right. That's yeah. right. Press it down just to, uh, on the surface of the custard. Because it and keeps just, from keeping a film it, on top yeah, of something. Yeah, so it won't get a film and it just... Hold, it just, hold. It helps the... the, the uh, it just makes it better. There when we, we do go. This. Okay, so we're going to let this... You just need to let it completely chill and that's anywhere from an hour to two hours. I usually let it go about 90 minutes. <laughs> and then we make the tart of Yay! all tarts. It's time to bring this tart home. It is. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is. <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> this tart's been having too much fun. Okay, so that this is nice and set. That is. Set. So I've got my uh, shell here, and I'm going to start just start spreading this out. Oh, oh it's so that good. That is good. Yeah. Just there spread we go. it out with the back. Hello, of the spoon. tarty. I know. Yeah. Okay, what are you doing? All right, so I'm going to actually make a glaze. So I've got a. Oh, how is that? A half a cup. Yes. Half a cup of apricot. Jam. Yes. 
All right, here we go. I, I can't believe this is just apricot jam that's basically it's so melted. Simple. It's so simple, and then and then it's, <laughs> we'll let it set, and then it's just oh, it's, it's already so, doing it. Look at that. Yeah, you may want to turn, turn it down. It down a little that bit. thing okay. has a mind of its own. It's so powerful. Okay. Okay. Two hundred. There we go. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Yeah, that is really. There we go. Good I, stuff. I calmed it down a little bit. Good. I'm glad you calmed it down. <laughs> All right, I'm smoothing out my custard over here. Yum. That looks so good, Chris. I know. The combination of this custard with this Get it all the way to the kind of sweet tart shell and then the amazing fresh fruit on top, it's just, it's just, it's the thing that, it's the stuff that <laughs> dreams are made of, I think, I'd like to say. Okay. Hold on, I'm just warming this thing up Okay, again. good, that's looking good. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna start. Bring that towards the center down. I'm gonna start uh, making a beautiful topping. So here's what we've got. We're gonna start with some mango and just start on the outer. Oh, I can't edge. believe I'm not helping you do that. I know, I know. <laughs> that's fine, you, it'll melt on its own now. Now we're just gonna go all the way around in a circle like this. I can do this without, the, these mangoes are slippery little. Yeah, overlap them a little bit, or maybe not, maybe you don't need to, maybe just do, just touching. Okay, we're moving right along. Wow. Okay. That was some fast that work you do That was some fast there. tart building. Okay, now we're gonna do a layer of strawberries. And you just do this in a method or a style that you that you feel looks best. But and I'm and this is doing good over here. Yeah, you're good, you're All good. Right. All right, you can help me now, I got a little. All right. right along all right so okay. now let's get these these wonderful isn't that looking pretty tart, tart i love these tart uh, raspberries i know i know look at that you guys oh this is so wonderful just pile them on in just there so festive and there so beautiful go. so my, this is i think we, my favorite layer is um what's coming up next is the kiwi yeah so these are these are <laughs> raspberries fresh raspberries yes someone's gonna ask can i use frozen yes you could but you know it, it's summertime so Try to use fresh if at all possible. Yes. And, and then just again, just overlap this. I did whole kiwi slices there. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. Now, oh, just a little bit of dollop of these in the middle. There you go. Look at that, y'all. Is that festive or is that <laughs> festive? <laughs> now we get to do this fun stuff. Yeah. So we're gonna. And you may you may see in here that like our jam had some actual clumps of apricot in there. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. If you really want a really smooth sauce, then you could just you could strain that. But I don't think it's really. Oh, necessary. you guys! This puts a lovely little glaze over. A glaze it. over it. Mm, and I like the actual the apricot Cut flavor. flavor yes. I know. I know. Okay, we're gonna get, finish this off. We're gonna keep doing this, and then we're gonna. You want this, uh, this apricot glaze to kind of have a chance to set. So we're gonna let it just cool off for you know minimum of ten minutes, and then it is time to chow down. Yes, it's the moment we've been waiting for. <laughs> you, I feel like I've been waiting for it all day. I know. Listen here, you <laughs> tart. Okay, isn't it beautiful? It's, it's gorgeous. Just, it's so festive and so beautiful. Now so now what we're gonna do, here's our little trick. Yeah. We'll lift it up by the sides. Remember, don't pick it up by the bottom. There you go. And then you put just like a dish underneath it, and that falls away. Go. And, and you the, lift that up. And I'm gonna lift this up. We're working as a you team here. Oh, my phone's talking I to know. me. I know, the phone's like, can I have some tart? Got it. Okay, beautiful. There it is. Okay. There it is. All right, now it comes my, you know, my favorite activity, <gasps> cutting that you first one. guys, light. look at Isn't that. I mean. You serve that to guests and people are gonna be you so You know, just impressed. get messy, I don't care. Okay, I know, I'm not gonna worry about don't it. Don't worry about it, just chop down in there. Yes. Okay, nice. Okay. There we go. Now I'm gonna do this right over here. Good, do it. I think we're good. Yes. Make sure we got the point here. You get the point, oh yeah, then you get the underneath, between the pan and the- Oh, yay! That looks great. Dude. There we go, y'all. <gasps> Look at how cute. That is so cute. Look at those colors. I know, it's so vibrant and so beautiful. I am so excited. And I got, I think I have every last piece of yeah. type of fruit on here. I think so too. And that custard, I'm so excited for the custard. Okay, I gotta okay. go. Okay, gotta we gotta go. go, we gotta go. Ooh, that crust, Chris. I know. That's good. 
Hold on. Oh, I'm getting messy already. All right, hold. <laughs> so much I want to get on my fork. Well, all right. Let's have a man. That tart sure tastes good. <laughs> wow. That is like, that is like quintessential summer dessert. Don't you love the custard with the fruit? Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. It is 10,000% Luna Pro. Yay! <laughs> you guys, cooking with fruit is so much fun. Yay! And, and especially when it's in the summertime oh. and you're entertaining. So make it a go, summer of fruit. A summer of fruit. Go get a lot of fruit and make good fruit desserts. Yeah. We love you we so love much. You. Bye, everybody. Happy summer. Yeah.